Hey, welcome to UK Wildcrafts. So this here is burdock. You can eat the younger leaves. The older ones, they're a bit tough and too bitter for eating. But you can use them in like a primitive style of cooking. If you wrap your food up in them, you can bury it underneath a fire, like underneath the coals, and that will cook it. There's not really much you can mistake these for once the leaves get this big, and they do get quite a lot bigger as well. The basal leaves are vaguely heart-shaped and the veins fork before they meet the margin of the leaf. See that there? And the margins are wavy. Underneath the leaf is white with a downy fur on it. And the stems are a little bit like rhubarb. You see where they, they start off like a light green and then go red and darker red towards the base, just like rhubarb does. And it has that same sort of stringy texture. And the stems are edible, you just want to peel them. So as the plant matures and you get the the stem growing in a spike in the middle, the leaves coming off that will be elongated and more spear shaped, but the basal leaves will stay heart shaped. And you'll probably recognize the seeds. This is from the dead plant from last year. These are the burrs, where it gets its name burdock. And these stick to your clothes and they're really difficult to get out. By far the best part of this plant is the root and you'll often have to dig quite far down to get it because it can be quite long and you really want to be getting the root in its first year in the spring or autumn and that's because in the second year of its growth it's putting all of its energy into growing the plant and producing the flowers so in its second year it, the root will have expended its energy and it'll be quite tough and woody but this plant is in its first year in the spring so the root should be quite good And there's a burdock root. See, that's quite a valuable food source if you're in the wild, because that is absolutely packed full of carbohydrates, especially starch, which is quite a hard thing to come by in the wild. So this could keep you going for a while. And they're quite like a cross between parsnip, potato and carrot. I, like, I just like to roast them Yes, burdock root.